Hey folks, Dave here on a Saturday night. Just got out of work and uh, did three games today. <laughs> Crazy games at the ring. Home team won them all, though. All three divisions won, so that was kind of good. Um, so now I'm home here, and I'm just, uh, I was going to play something tonight, but I said, you know something, I'm kind of tired, and I just didn't want to think too much. So I said, I think what I'll do instead is I'll cut some cards, and if anybody wants to chat while I cut some cards, that's fine. I'm cutting up. Uh, hockey blast right now i'm working on um 67 68 i cut up a bunch of seasons and um well i printed out a bunch of seasons so i have some here i love this the new stuff here i really do the newest stuff is great compared to the oldest stuff so here's uh 81 82 that's what i was working on the other day and hit see hit see is the old cards they're um they're just so much better the, these ones here they're really nice compared to the old style but that's what i have to work with for the some of the seasons here so i just figured i'd be cutting them out here so i got the blackhawks and the bruins done from 67 68 is uh kenny hodge and the whole bit so let's see i might scale this light down a little bit it is a little bright over here so hopefully that'll be a little bit better as uh ray comes by ray crazy games today um game one Home team won seven to nothing, and they outshot the other team 73 to nine. 73 to nine. I, I just, it was just a one sided show. I, that was, and I've seen some of these junior games, especially that team up there, they can really run up the score a little bit, but holy smoke, 73 to nine, they outshot them. So the goalie got a nine save shutout. And then the next game was two to nothing. So that was pretty good. They got another shutout. The other team got the shutout. The shots were closer. I think they were like 35 to 35 or something like that. And then the last game was um, another home team win four to two, I think it was, or five, five to two, five to three, five to three. And I got four goals. I was kind of happy for them, you know. Did the losing team change goalies? No, Ray, they didn't. They didn't. I mean, Dude, he made 66 saves. <laughs> it was not his fault. <laughs> and I see what you're saying. Maybe take him out to save the kid. But, he, I mean, I don't know. When I played rec league hockey back in the day, I was seeing 50 and 60 and 70 shots, and we would lose 10 to nothing, and I'd feel pretty damn good about myself, and the team felt pretty good, pretty damn good about myself, you know? <laughs> but, holy cow. If I can... Get this light a little bit better over here. I need light to cut the cards, you know. But it kind of wrecks the uh the, the mood here sometimes. Uh Nolan Susby, what kind of cutter is this? This is a Fiskars cutter. And th this is pretty good. It's Fiskars. I think I got it just at Staples or something like that. Um, but I bought it when I was doing the shootout cards because I was going to Staples and they had one just like this at Staples. So I says, you know something? I said, I'm going to get one for the house. And that's when I bought my color printer. And now I do pretty much everything here. Once in a while, I'll get on the Staples and have them print something for me. But it, but most of the time I do it here. I got a nice little laser jet printer that hopefully is going to last me a lot longer because I love it. And, um, yeah, I printed out a whole bunch of seasons. I printed out – um, what did I print out here? So this is – um. 67 68 81 82 i printed out um i also printed out oh here they are over here i'm not i'm not going to cut all these live tonight but i printed out 60 61 and uh see these are really nice right here these cards right here as i get that light in the way um these are uh 78 79 this is the new set that i got 78 79 they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but I picked up a whole bunch of things on sale, and I'm like, you know something? I really, really, really like this um, Hockey Blast Express game to a point where I'm going to be playing a lot of it. So I says, I better cut out some teams. And I did three games today, and, I, and I'm pretty tired. I, I was looking forward to playing all day, and then um, I met the wife. She, it was a family party tonight for a 16-year-old. Uh, her nephew was 16, so I stopped and met them and had something to eat. And I was like, you know something? I think I'm going home. Just going to print some cards and cut some cards. I says, I really don't think I'm going to be playing anything tonight. But I thought I'd open up a chat and say hi, see how everybody's doing. 
uh, Ron stops by. So, uh, yeah, you like the cutter? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Ron McGrath coming by. John was hoping to cut some play. History Maker Baseball was supposed to be here by 9 p.m., but it didn't show up. Doesn't that stink when, you, when you're sitting there and you're dying for something? I know it's it's a game. It's not like you're waiting for a, you know, a medical thing or something. But you, you're all excited about your game, and it's supposed to be here, and then it doesn't show up. I, I get that. I've been there. And that's uh that kind of stinks. So yeah, no, this is a um a fist car cutter. And what what's what's kind of cool about oh, this cutter here is this little thing here. This, this thing slides out, and these things are replaceable. And I got a couple extras. These are the little inside the little razor blade tip there, right? You can see the little tip. That's your cutter, and um they're replaceable. So all you got to do is just, you know, when these start to dull out and it doesn't cut as good, then I just replace the tip. I just bought a couple more. I think it's like 10 bucks for a four-pack or two-pack or something like that. They're really not expensive. And that's why I just cut one at a time. I really – some people like to double up so you can cut them faster. But I get a nice cut out of here um, for the most part. You can see it's starting to dull a little bit. I can tell when I feel on the edges it's a little dull. But I said, you know something? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just keep continue cutting on here. I have enough of these. I could probably pop in a new one at some point. But yeah, so I got uh, 67, 68 St. Louis right now. And uh, oh yeah, he was uh, yeah, he made a stand in the third period, Ray, um, or the second period, and it was just like shot after shot after shot after shot after shot, diving across, making these diving saves. You know, and it's like four nothing. He's making diving saves. It's like, dude, what are you? doing it's like the, the game's over it doesn't you know and he, he he get up one time and he's like slow getting up you could tell he was getting tired because they put uh they got 50 after two periods and i remember this they have a social media girl there that does she does a good job she takes her phone and she films the players coming off the ice and talks to them between periods and after the game and she's the one that took that video that i put on facebook there me interviewing the coach so I'm live on Flow Sports when that happens on the interview, but she also films it so she can put it on their social media. So she has her, her own video. It's, it's off to the side a little bit. And I was talking to her after the second period, and she's just like, man, she just goes, how many shots are you going to get? I says, what are they up to now? She goes, oh, they're up to um, they're up to 50 shots. I was like, 50 shots? I had no idea they had 50 shots. But, yeah, they did have 50 shots. Carol Vadney with the Montreal Canadiens, I had no idea. I know Mickey Redmond played for them, but Carol Vadney, the Montreal Canadiens, huh? Oh, did not know that. Did not know that. Interesting. But I do like, like I say, these the newer version. I really like they um they have the uh the silhouettes of the players in the background, and so I, I I like those now compared to the old ones. I wonder if they if they ever redid those. If I would go and buy them just because they look so nice, you know. I don't know. I do wish they made them a little bit bigger, though. I mean, everything's on here and it's functional, but it's so hard to maneuver these little cards around. As Keith stops by, hi, Keith. And uh, Michael comes by as well. And, uh, oh, Keith just got this cutter today. This thing works great. Like I said, this is 110-pound paper. It's um kind of thick. It's about as thick as the last strat that came in, I think. That's about where they are. Uh. I think it just works out pretty well. It's not, um, I mean, I thought about going a little thicker. I thought about bumping it up a little bit, but you know something, these, these work. You know, they're not as thick as app or a payoff pitch or anything like that, but these things work and they cut really well. That's the other thing is there's no sense getting something that's going to be a problem cutting, you know? So these cut really nice for me and I'm, and I'm happy with them the whole bit. So, and, uh, so let me know how you like it, Keith, if you have yours in and what, what you're using it for and, uh, if it works out well, I like how it's got this little line right here. There's a little line, it's like a little wire. I don't know if it's printed or if it's a actual wire, but that's what you can where you can see you're gonna cut. So you can line it, line it up right on that little. I don't know if it's a wire or not, but the measure. But it, yeah, you can see everything right on there. So, um, and you haven't had any, any really won anything that, with PDF scenes, but I have a ton of free ones. Hmm. You know, start looking for a color printer. Yeah. I call a laser printer. They're great. They really you don't you don't burn through all the ink every time. I remember printing with inkjet. Holy cow! It was just you know out of ink, out of ink. Ink's drying up. Try to clean the cartridge. Forget it. 
So that's why I broke down and I and I got the um I I got the uh the color laser jet. I just read it was like number one rated in PC magazine or something like that a few years ago. It's like it wasn't that expensive, uh, c- comparatively speaking, for laser jets. I was like, okay, I'll oh, get it. Gary Unger with Toronto. Holy cow, Gary Unger with Toronto. That makes no sense. He he was a a blue, and then he was a red wing. I don't remember him with Toronto at all. Uh, Devil Off, so uh, what are we cutting? Hockey Blast, guys? Yes, this is Hockey Blast. And this is, um, uh, I just printed out a bunch of seasons. I looked, I had a whole bunch of PDF seasons. But as you know, I, I hadn't really played this game very much. Which way do I want to cut this one? Um, I'll go this way. I hadn't played this game very much. And so I have a whole bunch of PDF seasons that I picked up over the years that I hadn't done anything with. And so I said, you know something, let me go back and print them out because I'm playing that. Let me tell you, that Hockey Blast Express is, it is fun. And I know some people have called me out and said I played it wrong. I didn't think I did. Maybe I read the dice wrong or maybe, you know, you get chatting with people and you, and I make a mistake. But I thought I pretty much played the games pretty much spot on. There's not a lot to them, so there's not a lot to screw up. But it's possible I did. But I just had so much dang fun with them. And the idea that these games, he can bang them right out. It's like boom, 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 you know? And so I said, I can see myself playing more. So it says, it gives me an excuse to um to cut some cards here and uh you know, put them away and have them in stock. I actually um I found my envelopes and I found my um my Avery printer labels. I had to order more, but so what I like to do, oh, I got my cards all put away, but I like to have my little envelopes and then put the um the sticker on it with the logo and the year. So I can't, I don't print right on the envelopes. I print on an Avery label and then I stick them to them. And that way there, I can look right at the envelope and know exactly what I got. So these are some of the goalies here now for 67, 68. So I get Roy Edwards and Roger Crozier for Detroit. I remember when he went to Buffalo, Jacqueline and Simmons, Charlie Hodge and Gary Smith for the Seals. Um, Glenn Hall was with St. Louis, Bauer and Gamble in Toronto. Some names from the past. It is. And SJG, don't know why, but watching Cards Cut is actually relaxing. You know, I was talking to a friend of mine last night, late last night after I got done streaming. And we were just chatting on Facebook. And uh, he's like, what's going on? I says, well, my heart problem's back. And I'm I'm. Pretty nervous about it and the whole bit. And then that's the worst thing you could do is is to when you worry, you put stress on your heart. And that's what I can't be doing right now. So he says, you need to do meditation. He goes, I do meditation and I absolutely love it. And the meditation calms me down and it does wonders for your body and yada, 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 yada. I says, I hear that. But I says, honestly, I says, um, I do things like this. I says, I cut, I print cards. I cut cards. I look at the names. This is relaxing. I play my games. I talked to you guys in the chat and I said, this is kind of, this is my meditation. And I know it's not the same. I get it's not the same, but for me, this is very therapeutic. It, it's, you know, you actually have to pay attention and cut on the lines and things like that. If you want it to look nice and I do like it to, to look nice, you feel kind of creative. It's, you know, it's kind of like, this is like my little craft table right here, right now. You know, I'm cut, so I'm cutting these things and it's kind of like a little craft table, you know? And um, some people do arts and crafts. Well, this is my arts and crafts, and this is this is part of the part of the hobby right here for me. And um, I actually have kind of fun doing this. Sometimes it does get a little hangy. Not gonna lie. Sometimes you're like, oh boy, okay, this is this is a pain in the neck. You know, I've been doing this for a few hours and I haven't played anything. But you know, you do this once and you're done. You know, once like I said, sorting out the payoff pitch card, kind of a pain in the neck. But once you once you get it done, you're done. And then you can play the game, and then, then you order more seasons, you know. <laughs> um, and uh, Devil Lobster asks here, hang on one second, let me just cut these last couple things here, and I'll answer your question as we cut out some California Seals goalies. Where's PJ when you need them? I'm cutting up some Seals cards here. And I kind of did this because I think this is the year the Seals no, – well, no, they didn't go to the, the playoffs in 67. They – um. It was another year that the Seals, I think it was 68, 69, they went to the playoffs. 
Excuse me. Um, Devil off does Hockey Blast Express just use Hockey Blast cards or does it have its own propriety cards? Nope. You are using the Hockey Blast cards. And that's one of the reasons that it works so well and why I'm doing this is that it gives me a reason to use my Hockey Blast cards. Now, it's, it's given me a reason to print these out. And I'm kind of hoping that if I do this and I enjoy this, then what I will do is I will start playing some more Hockey Blast. I'll pull out the full game. And I'll play some Hockey Blast because I have all the cards printed out. So that's kind of the the goal here is for me to play the Express and enjoy it and then use these same cards that I'm printing out here to go play some Hockey Blast full game. Um, it's the same thing with Shootout. If you have the Shootout cards, you can get the Shootout EZ game. That plays in one minute. Exactly. I time myself playing Shootout. It's one minute for Shootout EZ. And you do that. and um, you use the same shootout cards. It's great. You don't have to buy nothing more to buy, folks. It's it's a, it's just a quicker way to play shootout and get a final score using the team cards. I really like that. It's the same kind of idea, actually. So now I get some guys here. Dunk McCallum. Doesn't say their positions, though. Does it? Am I missing? Oh, D. Okay, I didn't see that. That's why I'm not playing any tonight. Any but anything tonight? Because I am. Kind of tired, so I'm just going to kind of put my teams here. Okay, this is, um, I already printed out Chicago and Boston, so I don't know how many teams are supposed to have 12, I think. So we're doing that. Uh, let's see here. And uh, this is like watching Bob Ross relax. I hope it is. You know, it just gives, gives, gives us a chance to chat, and I don't have to worry about playing any games while I'm doing this. I'm making mistakes and just, you know, just kind of, so I don't know how long I'll, I'll be here, but um, gives me a chance to say hi to you guys. And just kind of have some fun here. So St. Louis. And again, when I'm done, I'll go through every team to make sure I didn't screw anything up. And Pittsburgh. It's one team I didn't play a lot of. The Pittsburgh Penguins. Just that was one team that kind of was just not a not a thing for me. I, I have connections to a lot of teams. You know, St. Louis because of the Bruins, the Flyers because of the Bruins, the Seals, obviously, you have a connection with um, the Maple Leafs I've always liked, even the Red Wings. But the Pittsburgh Penguins, I mean, D Detroit, you know, had some great players in the day. Minnesota North Stars, Gump Worsley, and, um, you know, Maniago and guys like that I really liked. But the Pittsburgh Penguins were one team that I just, I had no connection with whatsoever. I just didn't. And it just, I don't mean to be mean. It's just, I just never had a connection with them. So you got Maniago here and Gary Bowen, I didn't know, but I, Maniago, of course, I knew. Right, so this is Minnesota. Do I already have a Minnesota? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I have two Torontos. That's why. All right, so we have two Torontos, and now I have a Minnesota. So now here are my 12 teams. Uh, getting back to the chat room. Uh, Jimmy Jam, Dave from uh, hi Dave from Chicago. I've watched many of your shows and enjoyed them very much. I only play Strat, but it's nice to see, to see the other games that you show. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, I do play Strat once in a while. Um, I just have a couple of hang-ups with Strat. I, I just, you know, I'm not going to go over them here, but there's a couple of things that just kind of, kind of bug me about strat and i just find some other games i just enjoy a little bit better maybe because i'm just a huge hockey fan that i just i enjoy the nuances of some of the other games a little bit better um that being said i still enjoy playing strat especially on the pc and i do have strat cards i bought a lot of strat cards because i <laughs> when i first started playing it's like oh i'm gonna be playing a ton of this game and then i found some other games i'm like oh, now i'm gonna be playing a ton of these other games too <laughs> so uh, but this Hockey Blast Express is fun. It's very different. It's fast. Like, addicting. I say, I think I played four games last night. And I, I'd love to play some more right now. Cheevers and Johnston, the dynamic duo for the Boston Bruins right here. Cheevers and Johnston. And let's see. Well, where are the Bruins right here? So I think the Bruins might be full, actually. So I got Chicago. Dave Dryden for Chicago and Dennis Jordy for Chicago. So those goalies are right here. I'll go back to the chat room here. Um, David C. stopping by. 
And Michael asks, so the Hockey Blast cards are universal for Express? Yes, in standard editions. Which ones had all the color with all its order from play? Um, yeah, everything here. I have not touched up any of the play cards, if that's what you're asking. So um, I have some PDF seasons that were sent to me, and th they come on perforated sheets, and you got to break them apart. Um, <clears throat> but uh, a lot of them I got PDF. Like, these are PDFs. I didn't touch them up. I just printed them. The ones that are nice, the nice, nice ones like these, these come right from play. This come right from play, and they have it's all done up. It's the new modern look, and I really like it. So this is the 81, 82, and I think 80, I have 86, 87 somewhere, too. I don't even know where I got those from. I don't know. If that that might have been a homemade job. I don't know. I have so many. With, with the play, the community is always producing things at play. So it's you know you got I got I got so many golf courses for the golf game that were created by the community that I'll never play them all and I printed them all out and I have them here I'm like holy cow I got a, I got a ton of golf games here um where are we here but yes um sorry Michael the um uh th they're universal so these will work. These will work with Express or Hockey Blast. So these are basically Hockey Blast cards that have been adapted to play with um, with the Express game. In fact, they probably built the Express game around the cards, much like they did it with Second Season. You have Second Season, and I think Baseball, History Maker Baseball Express too. I think they all work with the same cards. You don't need to get any extra cards and that was probably by design because nobody wants to buy any extra cards when they can just use the ones that they have. But sometimes you don't want to sit and play a whole darn game. So that's where the express games come in. So um, ID tonight, he got his golden ticket for um, uh, History Maker Baseball. So I saw that ID had that and he was very fair in his rant, I'm going to say. I thought ID was very fair, so good for him. And boy, I got a lot of cards to cut. It's easy to print them, but cutting, especially this thin, this many on a sheet, it's like holy cow! You're here all day cutting these little guys up because they don't—they're a little bit tougher to cut because you really got to get in there. And line these up under the cutter just right. Whereas the bigger ones, you know, like the season ticket ones, there's more use more paper, but holy cow, they they cut so much faster because they're so big. Vadney with the Canadians. That is interesting. I did not know that Carol Vadney was with the Canadians before he went to Boston. And then I think he went to New Jersey too. I think I saw a picture of him in New Jersey. I was like, oh my gosh, Carol Vadney's in New Jersey. So I got a couple of Minnesota skaters here. And we continue on. Um, let me see, David C. Uh, you're putting Dynasty League season cards in protective sleeves as you watch me card here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I saw that. Um, well, you the one that got the, the big 40th anniversary with the big monster package. Yeah, that thing looked gorgeous, actually. It really did. And um, what did I print on cards? Like, yes, I have a hundred. There, it's a hundred and ten pound card stock, is what it's called. It's not super thick, but it's definitely thicker than regular paper. And um, I think it works fine for this stuff. I really do. All my hockey bones that I printed out on my own were a hundred and ten pounds. Um, until I brought them, until I got them from a drive-through. That's what I was using. But they they work pretty good. The um. This 110 pound is fine. I'd like to be thicker. I really would, but 110 pound works pretty good. Pepe Lemieux. <laughs> oh, Jacques Lemieux. And um, hello, Dave and Chad. Did I grab Draft Duel during the play sale? I did not grab Draft Duel. Um, the only thing I picked up, I only picked up hockey. I picked up the, the Express, uh, Hockey Blast Express, and I picked up a bunch of seasons. So, um, I did spend some money with play, but I didn't. I didn't get the uh, the draft duel. Um, that'll be something that I'll look at down the line. I really was really was interested in in the history, uh, the hockey blast express, and I'm I'm very very pleased with it. Needless to say, and um, 
Joe says he just asked for the 40th anniversary of a couple of seasons for Christmas. And my, my wife was talking the other day. We sat down. We're like, are we going to do presents this year for each other? You know, you know, blah, blah. I said, no. I says, I, I got some stuff for myself for Black Friday. Don't worry about me. I'm good. Don't spend any money. And then she's like, well, why don't we do what we did last year and go out to dinner and then we can each go buy a present. And I was like, well, that'd be a great idea. I just don't know where I'd buy seasons. <laughs> what are we gonna am I gonna drive to uh to Strat headquarters or Appa headquarters or something like that to get some seasons? <laughs> I didn't say that, but I thought it. And coming on to that gives me a chance to show up my new hat. I got my new Milwaukee Brewers hat in. I found a whole bunch of really inexpensive hats and visors that I like to use when I do my streams, when I have um, those teams playing. I think it just adds to the immersion. And so I, I, I always want, I'll always like this Brewer logo. So I found this, I don't know if it was eBay, if it was a store online. I don't think it was Amazon. It was someplace else, I think. And I was like, oh, I'll pick it up. It was under 10 bucks. I think it might have been eight bucks or something like that. So I says, oh, I'll pick it up. And we're still chipping away here. Boy, this is 67, 68. What's going to happen when I get to a bigger season? Yikes. I don't even know what season I did. I made the mistake the other day when I was printing out my um my 81, 82 season so I could try that out. That's one of the new ones I got. And I wanted to play the Nordiques and the Bruins. So I printed out Nordiques and the Bruins. And then you got to, you know, there's a couple teams that bleed over. So I have a... um a handful of other players from other teams. So I put them aside. And then um, when you print the goalies, you, you print out a bunch of goalies. So I put them aside. So then I was like, tonight, I said, you know something? I'm going to print the whole 81 season. I really am. And uh, so I had to go back in and look at all the I mean, They're all broken apart. They're all like this. And I'm trying to find out which pages I, I printed and, and which pages I didn't. I should have just printed the whole thing out, but I didn't think I was going to do it. Like I said, I just wanted to, Play Boston, Quebec, and um, and give that a go. And little did I know I was gonna completely, completely uh, love playing Hockey Blast Express. And so now I went back into my folder. And I says I have all these seasons at a PDF that I bought during sales that I didn't do anything with. So I says I am going to cut them. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm cutting them. And now I'll be able to play them in Blast and Blast Express. Noel Picard and Ron Shock. Ron Shock ended up going to uh, Pittsburgh, I think. I think. And yeah, that is a hat, handsome hat. It is. Picks dig it. They really do. They look at that. Oh my gosh, is that that original Brewers logo hat? I'm like, yes, it is. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's unbelievable. That's what they say. So what's everybody else playing? Anybody else playing anything today? I didn't get to play anything today. Oh, I, I shouldn't say that. I did play Strat Max at the rink. And um, I finally won a darn game. I, I had lost every game or, what, or am losing every game I was playing. I didn't finish every game. Holy cow. I mean, you talk about being sour on a game. When you lose... Six or seven games in a row. My eight, 78 socks come out of the gate like 0-5. I'm losing everything. And I'm just like, man, if I'm, if I'm losing everything, I'm just not having fun here. And I know it's not the game, but you know what I mean? When you're playing and you're losing, it's like it just leaves a, a, a crappy taste in your mouth. So it wasn't a game's fault. It's just I lost all the games. I'm like, I don't know if I like this game. And then I started up uh, the 86 socks, and I think I lost with them too. It's like, man, I haven't won a game yet. I've had this. This thing a week. I've been playing a bunch of games. I haven't won a damn game. So I, I almost gave up today. But Fred Lynn knocked in a couple of runs for me. And I said, okay, if Freddie Lynn keeps this going, I'll, I'll, I'll continue to play. Otherwise, I was going to quit, really. I was going to rage quit if Freddie Lynn didn't get a hit and tie the game up for me. Because I, I just had enough of losing. <laughs> I just I don't know what else to say. I had had enough of losing. and But Lynn got the hit, and we went on to win the game. But just, yeah, you can only take so much of that. I did. I I was having some fun with it today, so I did play the um the Strat Max. I just I'm not much for like I I like to get on my phone and get off my phone, like check some messages, check email, you know, see who's see who's playing what on Facebook, 
and that's about it. I'm, I'm on it a lot, but I'm on it and off. I'm on and off. I don't really stay on there and do much. I, you know, it's, it's just not what I do with my phone. So I just don't know if I'm going to want to sit and play a game. So I play. I would play a couple of at-bats, and that would be it. Or I'd play an inning, and that's it. So it's like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to play this on the phone. And the game is fine. It does everything fine. But it's just, I just don't know. Me, I just don't know if that's going to be a game for me. I just don't know if I want to do that. That's all. Um, And where are we here in the chat? And Doug, Doug says, uh, I was able to print out some season ticket baseball today and cut them using my method. It worked great. It does. That method is unbelievable. I mean, those are lined up perfectly on the page. And you can see when I cut these here, I don't know if you can see them here, but there's, you can see the lines over here. So anything with a cut line, you're never going to get rid of fully. You know, you're always going to have a cut line because even if you cut right on the dang line, it's still going to be, this is another bleed over. Every one of these cards has a cut line. Doesn't mean I, I can't use them and it doesn't mean that I'm going to go back and trim them all out. That would just be ridiculous, especially on cards this size. But on the season ticket one, you just slide it, like I say, three and three and two thirds. Cut it. Slide it again, three and three thirds. Cut it. And then cut those in half, and those cards are done. And they're almost perfect. I mean, you're going to get a little sway here, you know, when you cut them, that's for sure. But for the most part, those things are right on, you know? And so, yes, they are great. And I know people want to score lines. I'm like, you don't want score lines on those when you can just line up the paper. You know, they, those things look professional. They really do. Uh, Keith, uh, that hat says it's 1982 in those Brewers and my O's final game at Memorial Stadium. Earl's last game as a manager. Ten to two it was. Interesting. Um, just joined. What is the method for cutting these hockey cards? Well, um, you know, the, the pages are this big. So I can't, I can't cut them this way. So I have to bring them in, cut them in half. And then I just kind of chop around the edges and work my way in. It's kind of what I do. Um, there's no right or wrong way. At least I, I don't think there is. As long as they all get cut, they all get cut. There's probably a faster way than I'm doing it. But I like to trim them down to a point where I can get right at them and then slide them in like this because you, you do got to get really tight in here to get these little buggers to come out. Again, the, the, the season ticket cards are so easy. That's why I sat here one night and I just printed and printed and cut and cut. And I got through a whole season. Like, and it didn't take me that long. And Joe says uh, he played some 62 Strat and 54 APA. I'm assuming baseball, right? Joe, am I assuming baseball on that? And David says the entire soccer blast line arrives on Monday, setting up a huge draft. Are you going to take Monday off from work if you work? I know some people that do that, and I know I've done that with video games. You know, when I, when I was big on video games back in the day, it's like, oh, yeah, we're all calling in sick to play whatever the game is that's coming out on that Tuesday. It's just what we do. And I think sometimes when it was shipping to me, it would come in like in the middle of the afternoon, but I had to work Tuesday night. There's no way of getting out of it. It's like, man, I only got like 20 minutes in on this game before I had to leave. It's kind of a bummer. But that's what we do. So let me move St. Louis. I think St. Louis might be done. So let me get them out of the way. Now, see all, the, all these people in Pittsburgh? I, I don't know them. This Ubriaco. I don't know. Um, Paul Andrea, I don't know. Now, Keith McCreary, I think he might be the, the referee. He might. Um, I could be wrong, but he might be the referee. And Schinkel. Don't know. Ingerfield sounds familiar. Andy Bathgate, I do know. And Ab McDonald, I do know. I think they were both Rangers at one point. Um, Fred Lynn always comes up big for you in your games. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I love Freddie Lynn. And in my replay games, remember the, the 666 I rolled to end the game? Yep, that was Freddie Lynn. So Freddie Lynn is, yeah. I can always count on Freddie Lynn to get a hit. Always loved him. I hated it when he left Boston. Oh, I, was, I was so bummed out. Was like of all people, him and Rick Burleson, you know, Bur I, Burleson left too and played somewhere else. I was like, man, they, they were like long time Red Sox. I'm like, where are you guys going? 
I don't even know who took over at shortstop when Burleson left. That was it was the rooster, number seven. He was the shortstop every day. I had no idea who took over when, when he left. I don't even know how old he was when he left. He was just he was the shortstop my entire life. And I watched baseball. And okay, Joe is indeed playing baseball. Okay. Um, yes, Philip, these are the hockey blast cards and they work for Hockey Blast Express. And I just printed out a bunch of them tonight and I says, Well, I'm gonna come on and do some cutting and see if anybody's around and wants to chat. I don't know how long I'll stay on, but I was just too tired to play. I was at the rink for over 10 hours today. I broadcasted three games. My voice is tired, as you can hear. And um, But I, I was excited to do something tonight. So I said, let me print the cards and start cutting them. And I'll at least start it. And, um, and then I'll have them all done. So now if I can get a couple more seasons done tonight, then I can, you know, put them in the, in the, in the, um, in the drawer over here. And then if I want to play the 67, 68 season, I'm done. I don't have to worry about cutting and printing. They're all done. That's kind of how I look at it. They're done. They're done. Well, I don't, there's this 67, 68 season. There's a lot of players that I'm, I'm unfamiliar with. Have I created my own players? Um, no. You can, and I, I've tried to. I bought the instruction on how to, and I and I, I just got a little too confused. So the play games are just different enough. So I'll let them create the players, and and I'll just play the game. I I, I had a real hard time doing it. I I got most of it down, and I got it pretty close. Um, uh, but then I just kind of gave up. I find I'd rather design cards and put logos on them and cut them out than sign players. Because then I don't know if I'm doing it right. And just, you know, for me, I'd rather I'd rather have somebody else do it that knows what they're doing. That's just me. Vic Hatfield, longtime Ranger. All right, we're almost done. We're almost done this season. So, so what is, like I said, what is everybody playing? Somebody's playing some Strat. Somebody's playing some APA tonight. I was going to play this, but I, I am getting kind of tired. I shouldn't be cutting here because I could be making mistakes. Cutting while I'm tired, but I'm in a groove right now, so I'm going to keep going. And I get the Oakland Seals cut over here. This is, well, I think they're still wearing their green jerseys back then. Like the, um, not the green and the gold, the green and the blue. They changed so many times when I was a kid. I remember, what's up with this? What's up with this? I thought it was cool. But they kept changing jerseys. I really did. Uh, Phillips is playing a history maker baseball ex express quest for 61. He's on game 50. Fantastic. I I saw I was watching um was it Al Wilson? I think Al Wilson he did a video on uh, the baseball express game and I was I was watching that today. I was like, I wonder if that's something I'd want to check out or not. Because I have a couple of history maker baseball seasons, but I'm playing so many other baseball games right now. It's like Beatles was laughing at me that I was playing so much baseball because I'm the hockey guy and here I am enjoying my baseball. I am. I'm enjoying my baseball. I really am. We still got a lot more to go over here. And this is only 12 teams. When I get up to the other seasons, holy cow, there's so many, so many players to cut. It's like, yikes. I think I printed out way too much for tonight. I don't think I'm going to be getting to too much more than this right here. I am getting tired. This is, it's soothing, but it, after a long day, like I guess I was on the road this morning at what, eight o'clock, and I didn't get home till eight o'clock. I stopped and got something to eat with the wife and her family, and then came home and started printing cards. So it's been a nonstop day. As an old man, it's a lot. Reggie Fleming, Bernie Jeffrey on. 
of the Rangers. This is the problem. See, I don't see those lines. I don't know if you can see them, but it's really too much. There's too much black line there. I really, really do enjoy the ones that uh, don't have the score lines. And you can just, like you say, just measure and cut like the season tickets really do. Rod Gilbert and Don Marshall of the New York Rangers. All right, so we're down to our last few scraps of paper here. And then 68 will be done. I don't remember. I don't know if I just got this season, if it was on sale or if I had this for a while. I, I don't remember. I don't remember. And this could be a homemade season for all I know. I don't. I just don't remember where I, I got some of these seasons. I really don't. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so the shortstop was Glenn Hoffman and a bunch of guys till Noma. I kind of remember Hoffman. And, of course, Noma I remember. And what else have we got here? Minnesota. So this is only 12 teams. <laughs> I don't dare cut 22, 23, because there's teams I know I ain't playing. So I know I'll print the, I should print the Bruins, Bruins, Leafs, Vegas, and Edmonton. I'll print. But quite honestly, there's a lot of modern teams that I just don't care about, and I will never play. And so I know if when I get to them, I'm just going to be very selective about the teams I print. And I'll probably just play the Express with them. As we get to the Canadians here, these guys I pretty much know. Of course, they won the championship that year. All right, so only about seven more. <laughs> It's never ending. <laughs> K fan stopping by. K fan, I'm going to read that after I cut this right here. Hope he doesn't say anything bad. As we have uh, the Canadians, Le Perrier. I talked to one of these guys on the radio one time back in like 1993. Oh, when when was the strike? 94. I. Had, that's just the internet was just coming up and I posted on a AOL chat room, something about the strike. And someone sent me a message and says, I'm on a radio station in Montreal. Would you like to come on the show and talk about the strike? I saw you post on the internet and this is back in the day, like way back in the day. I said, sure. So, um, she called me and I got on the radio station and it was one of the old Canadians and I forget who it was. I thought it was Howie Morenz, but it wasn't, but I was talking to one of the old Canadians from my, from my apartment and I was on the radio live in Montreal. It was pretty cool. I never heard it, the segment, cause I couldn't get it. And it's probably long gone by now, but I thought it was kind of cool. K fan says he just got back into pine tar as an easy baseball game. Pine tar is a very easy baseball game. I like pine tar. Um, in fact, I have it right here. My problem with Pine Tar. Okay, he's playing Pocket Pen Run 2, and he'll pick up the new version tomorrow. Here's the problem with Pine Tar. All righty. Now, there's only one table or two tables. That's fine. Okay, but here are the cards. Oh, you can see them right here. Here are the cards. I mean, look at how much ink I'm using on these cards. I mean, that's nuts. The whole card is ink. So I printed out two teams. I had the 82 season. So I got, was this, um, Milwaukee and Boston or something like that. And I said, you know something? I'm never, ever going to print out more of this. This is just ridiculous. There's, look at that. Look at how much color is on that card. You know? And I, I so I told the, the, um, the pocket pen and run guys says, guys, if you're going to do your own card, this says, please don't do them like this. I says, because I am certainly not printing out anything with that much ink. Okay. It, 
if you want to have it on the computer, you can pl- and they, they dress it up on the computer. That's fine, and we we never have to print it. But I am not, 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 not going to be printing out any more than that. So I like Pine Top, but I never printed out more than those two teams, and that's the reason why it's just way, you know, way way too much ink. And the other thing is, um, they don't they don't have any seasons. The game kind of died. That that's more of a greatest hits type of thing when you play the greatest players of teams it really doesn't um it it, it doesn't do much for me because i like to play seasons i like to play within the season i don't play a lot of out of season at least yet someday i might but i don't right now but i like pine time par time par pine tower i liked it i really did i just don't think i would i don't think i would play it because of those reasons um, <laughs> and David said he played a preview of tomorrow's Pats Charges games. Pats lose. Not a surprise. <laughs> what what game did you play? I mean, any game that would have the Pats winning tomorrow, I would never play that football game again. Although knowing the Pats, just knowing the Pats, this is a game that they might win. Just just despite everybody, you know, because all the people that that can't stand them and they're rooting for them to lose. This is one. Excuse me, that they would probably win. You know, it really is. But I'm interested to know what game you play. What what uh is it action was it action PC? Does action PC have the uh the forecasted teams? You know, oh football mogul does too. I'm wondering how they are they, they um they're doing here. I wonder if you played the Pats in football mogul if if that would be uh how it would come out. I wonder if there's if they if they make adjustments on the fly. You know, because Aaron Rodgers is probably still playing in some of those leagues, you know. Um, Chris asks, do I like playing, do I like to play all-time greats leagues with any hockey tabletop game? Not really. I'm not, I'm not at all, I mean, I, I've played a couple of all-time greats from time to time and different things. And it is kind of fun. I mean, you ooh and you are at all the names and it's like, there's no stinky players. They're all fantastic. But for me, I, I like to play regular seasons. That's just how I like to do it. So I have a couple of all-time greats, and it is cool. I, I will say it is it is fun when you play because you're like, wow, look at all these guys. But I don't know. I just it's it it that is really fictional at that point there because there's you can't just say, hey, guess what? You know, the Seals beat the Bruins or the or the Yankees lost to the. Blue Jays, you, you, you know, because it's all just an all-time great. That it's not really a team. It's just kind of a, it's a nice big what if, you know. So I don't usually play that. I, but I, the few times that I did, I did have fun. So it's, it's wonder why that I don't play more of it. Um, because I did have fun with it. Um, and K fan says you bought the printed version. They're a pain in the neck to cut. Okay. I can imagine how much ink they're using on that one there. Jeepers creeps, that's a lot. But if they had seasons that you could buy for print and they weren't that expensive, I might play that more. Like I say, I did like it. I really did. Ed Hampson, he he went to the seals, unfortunately. For him. Garrett and Bruce McGregor. And we only got a couple more to go here, and then I can go through this season, and and I'll save the rest for the morning probably. And I'll just kind of say hi to everybody in the chat when I get done here. How's this camera looking, by the way? This is still my my good camera up here. I think Al Red Sox fan has that camera too. He bought it as well. It's supposed to do a nice job, but like I say, sometimes the glare can kind of Kind of suck. I just, no matter what I do, there's going to be a glare. Um, Christopher says, uh, soccer blast is a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, imagine if uh, hockey blast is fun. Soccer blast and lacrosse blast are probably pretty good, too, you know. As I finish up my last few things. Bill White on the Kings. That's interesting. So he must have left the Kings to go to the... Blackhawks at some point. Lowell McDonald. And we get some Kings here. Eddie Joyel. And then the last cut will be from the Kings. 
Ted Irvine, and Bill Cowboy Flett. And that is that. So I think we're going to hold off on the rest of it till till later. Sorry about that. And, um, yeah, that is that. So just printing out some cards here tonight. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. So, anyway, so I'm going to go through these, make sure I didn't make any mistakes, make sure I have everybody, and that'll be that. So, yeah, thanks for stopping by tonight. And, uh, and Mungo Jerry says, what season is that? Uh, the season I was cutting was 67-68 for a hockey blast. And I have uh, 60-61 on deck. And then I have um, 78-79. And then the remnants of 81-82 I need to finish up as well. So I'll have a bunch of seasons. And I still got a whole bunch to print. Um, I think I got 95-96 for free. And I got some Olympics and stuff that I think people made. Either I bought or people made. I forget it. Yeah. And uh, let me see. And uh, David said he's playing Action PC 2023. Okay. So that's what they lost. I get it. Um, and you feel bad for Belichick. Well, he's kind of, he's kind of, he's kind of done that to himself, unfortunately. Belichick's, I think he got a little pig headed. I do. And so he kind of ran himself into some trouble. <laughs> that, that's kind of what I think. But, oh, but anyway, hey, I'm Dave. I think I'm done for the night here. I'm going to go crash. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow some form, some way. And uh, Chris, is that, uh, is that 7879? No, I do have it, though. I uh, 7879 is over here somewhere. I, I do have it printed. I just haven't cut it yet, but that'll be. That'll be uh, more. So tomorrow, hopefully, I'll finish cutting some of these seasons here, and we'll pick out some good products to do with Hockey Blast. And, yeah, that's it, folks. So hopefully I'll see you then. If not, you guys have a great day. And K-Fan says, uh, looking forward to seeing more Hockey Blast Express. Last night's games were great. Yeah, weren't they? They played so fast. It's just like, hey, what, what do we want to do? Let's, let's pick a couple of teams and play, you know? So I'm looking forward to it myself. So, hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm just kind of cutting and chatting, just kind of killing some time here tonight. As i just too tired to play something. And I, and I got to show off my new hat. I did. So we'll talk to everybody later. Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye.